Hey friends, welcome to day 11 of Vlogmas. This is the evening. <laughs> I had a really nice day today. My son and I cooked a lot this morning. We baked. And I gave him the option. I said, oh, do you want to go out to the library and play there? He just loves going to the library. And he just said, no, mommy, I want to bake with you. And so we made pumpkin bread. We made regular bread uh, that I'd put in the night before and cornbread. <laughs> There's a lot of bread items here. So let me tell you about the artisan bread that I make. It's super easy. There is just nothing like the smell of fresh bread in the house. My mom used to make uh, fresh bread a lot when I was growing up and it was always this like thing to draw you to the kitchen because it just smells so good. Years ago, I found this recipe that is for artisan bread. It's a no need bread. And I actually do like kneading, but you know, sometimes you just don't have time for that. It takes me, oh, by the way, I, God, I'm gonna have to edit this video so much. Look at this curtain. Okay, I closed myself off tonight. I told my husband I am I'm at my limit. I don't want anybody to bother me unless the house is on fire. Then you can come get me. <laughs> and before my son goes to bed, come get me. So anyway, I didn't put my curtains up, but I went ahead and just shoved a sheet up there. Real classy like. This bread, it takes me about five minutes to prep the night before. Then I just go to sleep. In the morning, I shove it in the oven and I have just amazing, wonderful bread. So I'm gonna share my recipe down below. It's simple ingredients, it's like flour, a little bit of salt, some yeast and water, that's it. Sometimes I add rosemary, I mean, you can add whatever you want, Italian seasonings. You could add some garlic salt if you wanted it kind of garlicky. I mean, you could just do whatever you want with it. But if you've never made bread before, let me give you some tips. <laughs> when, oh, so the best thing to do, honestly, is you get your, get a big Tupperware or a bowl that you can cover and just mix it all in that. So it's a one bowl kind of thing. Put in your bread, put in your salt, and then mix it all up. You want your salt mixed up before you put in your yeast because if your yeast falls in a big old chunk of salt, then all your yeast is going to die and you will not have bread. So mix it up with the salt, then put the yeast in. I even mix it up then. So all my dry ingredients and then I get the warm water and put it in the bowl. I mix it all up and it's going to be pretty goopy, but that's okay. Mix it all up till it's incorporated, pop a top on it, and then just forget about it overnight. When you get it out, it is going to be so sticky. Do not worry. Don't try to knead it. Don't try to add more flour. It doesn't matter. Like, so I made double, I cut it in half with my hand and you'll see, I think I got footage of it. I'm just trying to shape it in some sort of ball, kind of tuck in edges and stick it on the pan. Um, I could have actually fit both of these on the same pan. So next time I would do that. Now the key when you're cooking it is you, so I cook it on a pan. The original recipe was like, put it in a Dutch oven and then after 30 minutes you take a lid off and then you put it out in something else. I mean, it was so ridiculously complicated. I just don't have time for that. So I get a pan, I put a sill pat sheet on it or parchment paper. Do not think you can just put oil on it and it will be fine. It will stick like you wouldn't believe and you will never get it off. <laughs> it, believe me, I have tried, I've tried oil, I've tried oil with flour, I've tried flour, I've tried cornmeal, like no, you need parchment paper or silpat. Silpat is the silicone 
um, like a liner, tray liner, like cookie tray liner. Okay, so that's the biggest tip for cooking. You just have to have that on the tray. So when it's done, this um, bread, I don't let it get super dark. So I just get it where it's just a little golden brown. I It took me, I think, about 30 minutes to cook these. So, you know, start checking on it and do what you can to figure it out. <laughs> But then uh, the other key thing with this is that if you let it just cool without any kind of covering, the top, because it's an artisan bread, the top will get really hard, like rock hard, which is great if you're going to use it for croutons <laughs> or you're going to dip it in oil or something. You're having an Italian themed thing going on. But what I do is I partially cover it as it's cooling. Either, like today I used some tin foil and I just lightly covered it. It's not sealed up or anything because you still want some of that heat to escape, but having a little bit of coverage allows that steam to go back into the crust and keep it softer. I've also used like plastic bags, half tucked in there with the bag open just so a little bit of moisture goes back into the crust. And when I made like a rosemary garlicky kind of loaf, I just brushed some olive oil or rubbed it on the top and that kept it nice and soft too. So those are things to be aware of, but it's a wonderful bread. It slices really well. It's great for toast. It's great for sandwiches holds its shape. I usually make a couple loaves and just shove them in the freezer once they're sliced so that it's just ready for me to use and it tastes fresh whenever I use them. So I hope you enjoy that. Today I also, apart from all that cooking, um, I finished putting up, almost finished, putting up the lights outside. They look really nice. I think I'll show you another day because um, I've got some cords to still tape and then there were some extra lights that I think I'm going to put around the front door. So I'm going to do that just finishing touches tomorrow. And then this evening once my husband got off work and I was like, you know, <laughs> take care of Jackson, leave me alone. <laughs> I, which he was so supportive of, I put on the pockets on the front of my jacket, this is Butterick 6301, if you're just joining this jacket saga. <laughs> okay, so I've got, this will smooth out. It's not really messed up. Okay, so there's a pocket on that side and this side somewhere. I did both of those. I went ahead and sewed along the back seam. And, you know, this time, I did what I should have done on the front. So I just sewed the seam, finger pressed it open, and sewed down a quarter of an inch on either side and trimmed it. And I think it looks really nice. It actually looks even. I took my time <laughs> to make it look even. Go figure. So now I'm at the point where I'm probably gonna go to bed, honestly, but it says to attach it at the shoulders and the side seams. Now, I'm kind of, I don't know. It says to ease stitch, then baste, then stitch. But the front and back line up perfectly. Why do I need to ease stitch that? I'm not going to. I'm just going to stitch it. I'm not even going to baste it. Like, just do it. So this jacket can also be made with wool. So I don't know if maybe different fabrics, I don't know. I don't know why they would go through all that, but so that is next. I'm really glad I'm moving forward with that project. And then I've got day 11 of my Beyond the Pink Door advent calendar. Gosh, everything still smells like those wonderful orange melts 
which by the way, were shaped like little Christmas things. Like there was a candy cane and a Christmas tree. They just looked so pretty. marking pen. <laughs> That's an unconventional way to open. Nice. It's like a chalk pencil marking pen. Yeah, just making pencil. Awesome. Can't go wrong with marking utensils, right? Utensils? Marking notions? <laughs> That's great. All right. Well, my friends, I am going to end here. And oh, by the way, I used my seam guide already and this thick fabric and I just thought oh this will make this handy put it right where I needed it on my throat plate I've never had one of those so I'm like ooh, it it did it made it so much easier I love it <laughs> things you didn't think you knew you needed I can't even talk all right um I think that's all I was going to share for today I hope you had a great day today and I will see you again tomorrow Bye.